Hello everyone, this is Jackie, SnowBunny426 here with her latest video for unbagging things from Etsy. This is from Etsy, and this one's from AliExpress. This is a diamond painting that I'm expecting to be a very large one. I hope this view is better, better and I hope the sound is better for you. Let's do the small package first. I've been getting back into crafting and things, and I saw that people were getting specialized diamond painting pens. So I went on a hunt for some to see what I could find, and I came across this company. This is from Etsy. The store name is, let's see here, I have it right here. The store name is Jim's Handmade Pen Shop on Etsy. I'll leave a link in the description below. He has a variety of different types of acrylics that he can make your pencil out of and he comes with different tips for your drill bits. I ordered two. Oh, they even came in this little nice little bag. Okay, reason I ordered two is because he sends tips with them that are interchangeable. Uh, let's see here. These are the interchangeable tips. So I'm gonna have one for like a single placer and a three placer, and the other one will be strictly for a multi-placer. Uh, the shipping was free shipping on this. I ordered these on January. Oh, did I say January? I'm sorry. I ordered these on June 29th, and they arrived actually yesterday. Uh, no, not yesterday. The 3rd of July. I just haven't opened them yet because I knew I was expecting this one. And this is a second bag of additional little tools. So let's open these. I got a matching set of them. Um, well, corresponding set. These are in the rose water. Let's see which one this one is. Ooh, look at all this pink. This is gorgeous. This is the rose water acrylic that I ordered it in. The second one should uh, accent it with being rose water mesh. <gasps> Ooh. Very, very pretty. Look at the blacks and the whites in them. Those are so pretty. So I got these two to accompany each other. Um, he has a couple more in the in the water in water meshes that I want. Uh, I think the next set I might get is the plum one because that one I, I had a toss up between the two of these. These I love. They feel really nice in the hands because the diamond pins can be a little small. This feels like it's gonna be a nice, oh yes, I like this. I wish I had an ink pen in this actually. All right, so that's those two. Uh, he has a variety of different lengths and widths and different types of acrylics. If he doesn't have an acrylic in stock that you like, he can order it and let you know what the price would be. So that was from Jim's Handmade Pen Shop from Etsy. Very nice, I like that. Now, let's move on to this big buster here. Let me get all this back in the bag. Move my iPad. Now this next one is from Etsy. If it's the one that I think it is, it's my biggest diamond painting ever. It's a 70 by 90. And this is from the store Home Fun, if this is the one that it is. Let's see, get you guys in camera. It's in a tube, so I'm not worried about cutting anything here. Put the sharp little exacto knife back in its container because I'm kind of accident prone and I don't want to hurt myself. Let's see here. Dear Lord, this thing is tap taped. They were making sure nobody was getting into this. Oh, well, there 
There we go. And, and more tape. Let me see if I can switch positions. There we go. And there's even more tape on it. Luckily, this side came off when I pulled it off. Let's see about getting into this. Oh, this is kind of... Try not to hurt my nails here. Let's see if I can use something pry under there. Okay. Let's see about this other end here. Hmm. Sorry I'm out of shot, people, but... This thing is big, and I'm trying to figure out a way to get into it. Okay. This end, I might... Oh, I have better luck on this end. Oh, I thought I had better luck on that end. I spoke a wee bit too soon. see here. Sorry if you caught me in the shot there, but I'm going to get some scissors to see if I can pry under here. Well, they were making sure it was protected and making sure I can't get into it. But I like this level of protection. Finally, yes. And we are in. And the first thing we see here are drills. Okay, sausage roll of drills. Oh, the canvas looks like it was not damaged in here. And there are even more drills in the bottom. So I said this is a 70 by 90. So, I mean, sure, I got something that I should be able to see all the details in this. And let's hope I don't cut my little accident prone self. Dear Lord, trying to get this thing out. They could have done with a, uh, I think a thicker, a wider tube. Okay. And we have the other end. Oh, popped open. And this end, basic toolkit. We're not going to get too much into that. This is a square painting. And here is the second bag of tools, and I have an inventory sheet in there. And here comes the good stuff. Uh, cut, looks like it's cut into three pieces. The uh, paper on top. Let's get that out the way. Let's get that in. Let's see about getting the inventory sheet out at least so you can see what it looks like. Oh, joy. Sorry, this is going to be a little bit of crinkleness. And they put this yellow tape everywhere. All on the outside, all on the inside. I hope everything else I ever order from this company is this well protected. Because this is, oh my goodness. This is getting ridiculous here now. Hope my phone battery don't die before I get all this open. 
And there we go. I'm trying to move away so you guys don't hear the crinkles as much. I'm going to try my hand at editing this video. There we go. And here. Why is this slightly damp? It must have been traveling through the storm we had last night. But this is the design. I fell in love with the cottage area back here. Uh, let's see. It has... Thirty-nine colors, and the color with the most is black three ten with a hundred and twenty-seven packets. Joy. Let me move those over there. That over there. Let's see about getting into this canvas. So I ordered this canvas on AliExpress from the Home Fun um, company. The price was $42.28 with free shipping. It was on sale. Uh, date purchase, I purchased it on the 24th of June. It was shipped out the 25th of June. And I received it actually today, J uh, July 5th. So let's see if we can get into this canvas. Uh, with this canvas being as big as it is, I'm going to just drape it right over my table there and let it free fall. There we go. I don't need those anymore. I don't need that. I might need this. So far, the canvas looks pretty good. It should with all that packaging it had on it. And the back looks pretty good also. Uh, just something right here along the cut lines, but I expect that. Uh, it's a little spot there, but it's okay. Let's see about pressing some of this out. And let's flip it back over. See if I can find the little key. Here we go. See if you guys can see that. It's going to be sideways because this panel is so large. I can't really hold it up. And let's see about getting it uncurled. Move the drills. There we go. I'm over here. Let's see. Let me move it back so you guys can see where I am at. Move you slightly. I'm right over here in this corner. Did get a little bit of damage around the very edges of it, but I'm not surprised. It came from China. Oh, wow. The drill field is very clear. Aww. There we go. Super tacky. If something there I have to fix. Let's get you guys closer. And that's the drill fill. Zoomed all the way up so you guys can see what it's looking like. 
I haven't even figured out which orientation that this field goes in yet. Let's see about here. Oh, this is the cottage scene with the river. And then let's get this last one right up here. This is massive. I don't know what I had set myself up for, but I knew I wanted to see the entire scene. So let's see. Yes, that is looking quite pretty. Oh, I'm going to have fun doing this. I'm actually right now, I think I have a storage unit for this one that I can put it in while I'm working it with it. So I think I'm going to be kitting this one up here soon. I just have to go out and get some batteries for my label maker because... That is like my best friend in crafting. And I use my label maker for everything. And there we go. And those went down surprisingly well. Cause this is me and I can be a little bit of a clutch. Let's get to the other half of it. Now, let's see here. Anyway. It's got some puckering in the glue, but again, this came from China. I kind of expected something to happen to it. It's no, for me, it's no big deal. Won't know until I really start trying to place the diamonds on it, how it's really going to be. Now, if some of you cross stitch would probably recognize this design. It's a Thomas Kincaid cross stitch design that has been out of print from one of his paintings. I was never able to get the cross stitch design. Here you can see Snow White looking across the river to the dwarf's cottage. Wow, that's going to be really pretty. Look at the little doe. Oh, you guys can't see the little deer. Look into there. That drill field is going to be beautiful. All right. And I cannot really reach the other one without hitting the painting. I'm sorry if I'm in the shot. Ah. Oh. There we go. And there's the waterfall. And there's the waterfall. It is beautiful. Considering how far it had to travel, I am not seeing, in my opinion, major, major things with it. Um, right now, the biggest issue I might have is the way the drills are packaged. Um, I'm using a quilting ruler here to smooth this back down, everybody, if you're wondering what this little thing is. Um, let me move it up. There we go. It's going to be beautiful. I'm going to get started. I think I might start this sooner than I anticipated. I'm not sure yet because I have another one coming in that I love very much also. I might start both of them at the same time. All right, so I have an inventory sheet and I have a bunch of drills. Okay, it's not as bad as I thought. The bags are a little crinkled up. 
but it looks like I don't have like a million. Some home fun that I've seen been um, unpackaged. All the drills were separated. So I'm not a. Oh, I thought I was going to have some loose drills there. That was super close. Um, to where like each bag was individually like separated. That I would have a problem with. But so far, this is looking pretty good. In this first bag here, I'm seeing no loose drills. Oh, three, eight, six, five. Um, I'll do inventory uh, later. And I'll let you guys know in the description if the inventory was okay for the video. Um, but so far, it's looking pretty good. Um, this is my first diamond painting of this size. But it's okay because the drills look beautiful. The drill fill looks beautiful. And I can't wait to actually start this one up. So I think I've rambled on long enough on my attempt editing in this video so if you notice some things jumping and it's not going smoothly that was my fault in the editing um thank you for watching my un my untubing video and unbagging video i'll leave descriptions in the descriptions i'll leave links in the description below for all of these places that i ordered these items from uh go over give look, take a look at jim's handmade uh, pins shop and Etsy the pins are beautiful I can't wait to start using them and I'm already plotting ordering what my next set's going to be because I want to always keep a set as one pin for single multiplacer and the other pin for strictly multiplacer but I always like a matching set just for that so that's going to be my downfall there uh, you can, if you like the video, please hit the like button. Any ideas, comments, things like that, please hit the, just leave a comment in the comment description below. If you dislike the video, hit the dislike button. Won't hurt my feelings anyway, go. Um, I appreciate you. Thank you for staying with me. And thank you for watching my videos. Have a great day. Bye.